Hello reformers and welcome back to Empires Apart. And well, the previous video seemed to be well received by some of you. So I thought to myself, okay, fine. Well, it seems like we're going to do another one and we're going to explore a different civilization this time around because last time we did the Aztecs and now we're going to do the Chinese because they have a vastly different style to the Aztecs because obviously the Aztecs are an aggressive faction in comparison. You can see here that I'm also playing on the hard difficulty because, eh, I mean, I was playing on medium before. I don't know how difficult the hardest level is so I thought we'd just notch it up a little bit just to see how the next AI is gonna do all right so here we are once again and we're gonna start by building a bunch of villagers of course because last time around I didn't really do a very good job of managing my economy I mean yeah my economy was okay you know it was enough to kind of get us through but it wasn't really you know very good so what we're going to do is i'm actually literally just going to concentrate on food at the moment and we're also going to activate reseeding thank you very much i think that is activating reseeding at least and what we're going to try for is a very early military development we're just going to literally try as fast as possible to get the military development. I'm only gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try to get a really, really big production of food and then just go for that. And maybe, maybe we can make that work. I'm gonna take this, uh, this worker? Yeah, I'm gonna take this worker and build a, well, a Fangwu, I believe it is called. I have no idea, so yeah, <laughs> pronunciation of these kinds of things, especially the Aztec names. Certainly not my strong point, anyway. We're going to continue to st get these. We need 400 food. That's not even that that bad. I mean, that's that's pretty easy to get. So we're just going to concentrate on all of these. And I'm going to have to send someone to get some wood. And we just got to keep an eye on our population cap as well. So I'm just going to get another two villagers. Just going to keep villagers being produced, basically. Just going to continue to produce them as quickly as I can. And we're going to start to get some farms going now as well. I think that could be pretty useful. And we got these guys as well. Now you can see that the farms are very, very different from, you know, the Aztecs. And I actually really like that. I, I like the visual style of this game actually quite a lot because it's got that low poly style. I know a couple of people are a bit, uh, you know, critiquing it a bit. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. But it does have that low poly style. It is literally going for that style on purpose. It's not actually, you know, a bad looking game. It actually looks really cool in my opinion. It's got like all these really kind of bright colors that really pop out and it really kind of gives each faction its own kind of personality and I think that's really nice but obviously if that's not your thing then that's not your thing anyway we're gonna try and oh no that was not good I'm gonna try and get a I'm gonna get some more wood apparently that's what we're gonna have to do I need to try and see whether we can why is my spy not doing anything why, why is he just stopped well he's not actually a spy he's more of a light cavalry but yeah, we're going to just try and see if I can get him around there. I don't know what he's actually doing. It's a bit weird. Okay, let's just continue to get some some villagers here. I'm going to need to get some storage. So let's just get some storage right next to the forest here. And then once all of that is done, I should be able to just leave our forces just doing their thing. And maybe we'll be able to... Wow, that's very far away, isn't it? Yeah, that is very far away for that person to run. So I'm probably going to just build another farm here. I can't do that, obviously. Don't have enough wood. Isn't that fantastic? All right, well, we have one idol here. Uh, I do need to get some more of these. Okay, there we go. Basic military, straight away. Look at that. That was very, very quick, if I do say so myself. And there's our spy. Or, <laughs> not our spy. Yes, uh, yeah, it's not the Aztecs we're playing, thank you very much. It's not the Aztecs. Okay, so who are we playing against? Who are they? I actually don't know. Hmm. Might be the Mongols? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's just uncover the rest of the map in this dark area here, just to make sure that we know exactly what's going on. We want to be sure that we have a good way of gaining 
gold and stone if we need it. And I'm going to build another farm over here, I think. There we go. I mean, we're going to need those, but I, I guess we just need to build some more villages. I mean, literally, the villages are the main problem here at the moment. Let's get some more wood going on as well. We're going to need some of that. And these guys, they really just need to go and get some farms going on, I think. That's going to make more of a difference than anything. And... There you go. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. I think we've got some pretty nice farms going on here and we just need to make sure that we are prepared. So I'm going to need a barracks pretty soon. I'm actually just going to go for an archery range. So we're going to need quite a lot. Did you see that, by the way? Did you see the vision range decrease when it became nighttime? That's pretty cool too. Anyway, I'm going to go for an archery range as soon as possible. We're going to continue just getting villagers. I'm going to put them over here because more than likely I'm going to need them on those over there and we do have some gold here and here is that gold no that's stone this is gold right okay well we're gonna place a storage here and i think we almost have enough wood to be able to build that archery range which is great so let's build that down here because the Chinese are very very good with their crossbowmen exceptionally good with that so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to take advantage of their upgrades and their advanced technologies and all that sort of thing so yeah hopefully that will work out to our advantage I'm just gonna leave those two doing their thing at the gold mine I don't really see the necessity to go for any further development around this area with the exception of maybe getting some food from there but we are getting some pretty nice are we aren't we getting nice food from the various farms maybe we need more do we need more maybe we need some more okay this is taking a long time to build but yeah we got some crossbowmen right there it's a basic range unit we actually need gold for that which is pretty interesting okay i'm gonna send those two to go and do that let's go and build some more of those and I'm actually wondering if I can, I'd like to get to the next level, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So I'm going to go for a blacksmith instead. And they need wood and gold. Well, we do have quite a lot of gold, so I suppose that's pretty good. But I'm going to need some just in case the enemy AI decides to attack us. Because they're going to attack pretty soon, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I actually have no idea, but maybe they will, maybe they won't. But it's always a good idea to be a little bit prepared. So I'm going to continue just to check out how quick that is actually going to be upgraded. And then we're just going to get ready to also get some research going on too. I mean, maybe we need some more of these. I don't know. But how much do we actually need? We need 650 food and 250 gold for us to be able to get some upgrades and oh yeah just bear in mind that none of these icons actually are the true representation of what the icons are going to be in the final version so yeah there is that to take into account anyway let's just build some more houses i'm not really placing them in particularly good positions by the way i'm not an optimal player when it comes to these kinds of games i mean yeah i you know i play starcraft and i played i have have played age of empires 2 and 3 in the past and uh liked it you know enjoyed it a lot but obviously i am not by any way close to being a professional player in that respect. And I know that many of you are extremely professional, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna continue just getting that. Oh yeah, there we go. Give me that plus one range. Thank you very much. And I think we should probably go for some more farms here, but this is all very, this is all, I, I haven't really done a very good job at, you know, kind of setting these things out. So I do apologize for that, but that is just how it is at the moment. Let's get a couple more of these. And we're going to need to just set them onto the wood. It seems like we need a lot of wood. And where is my light cavalry, by the way? Where is he? Is that him? There he is. All right. So do we have any other gold nearby? Because I have a feeling that my gold is going to wither up. Re maybe reasonably soon. Anyway, let's just send him into the corner here. And then we'll tell him to go to the other corner. And I mean, that, that should be a good idea. Ooh, hello there. Are you going to attack? 
Yeah, you are. You are a you are a very bad person. Yes. Okay, come back here, please. Come back here. Just so that our, our crossbowmen can actually help you out. Whoa, that's a nice lot of damage. Oh yes, that is a nice lot of damage. We did have one of our peasants die, but that is okay. We were able to replace them pretty easily. Not too bad. And I'm going to actually tell our guys to build some more houses here. And we do have our basic economic upgrade available, which is pretty fantastic. All right, so I'm hopeful that might actually unlock the next level of Archer as well. Oh, there they come. Oh, yeah, so this, this AI is doing a little bit more than the one did previously, which I got to say is very, very welcome, because beforehand they didn't really do too much. I'm probably going to need to build a storage hut over in that direction here where, they, where there's some more. Uh, is that stone? Yeah, that is stone. Oh, there's gold. There's some gold over there. There's some relics. We're going to need to build some more buildings, basically. Okay, so yeah, you can actually build towers and things, as well as stone walls and wall gates and all kinds of things like that. Now, what else can I build here? I need a temple. Yeah, I need that temple. So I'm going to try and get that as soon as possible. And we're going to get these two on that. There's the temple, there we go. And we well, we have a pretty good size of army at the moment. I mean, it's decent enough for us to be able to at least defend ourselves. That's literally what we got to do right now. Ah, hello there. You're deciding to attack us once again. You're very nice, aren't you? Oh, well, that is to be expected, obviously. <laughs> we can't expect him just to stand by and do nothing, of course. Okay, so let's get one of these monks out of here. And maybe we'll be able to get... Our technology improved as well. Let's get some ranged armor increase right there. And we probably want to get some more houses built as well. Mm, I should probably get a storage hut down here just in case we need to move our enterprise down there. And oh, there's another gold mine right by the side of us. That's pretty fantastic. Okay, so where's the monk? Where is the monk? Is that him right there? That is him right there. He can actually heal people surrounding him, which is pretty cool. But what I really want him for is to pick up that relic over here and then to come back. Does he have it? Yeah, yeah he does have it. Oh, okay, so you can't queue up actions. I think we found that out in the previous episode, so that's a bit of a bit of a shame, but that's all right. Let's get some more archers going on here and just get some more of these. We need some... Do we need some more farms? Not particularly. Maybe we want to go for a marketplace. Hmm. Used to buy and sell resources. Not entirely sure whether that's necessary at the moment. Ah, oh, we're under attack, of course we are. Oh, never mind. We were under attack, not anymore though. Okay, let's just set some of these guys over here just to kind of patrol around there and we probably want to get some... Do we want to get some warriors or do we want to get some mounted units? Maybe we want to get some mounted units or something along those lines. That might be making a bit of sense. Maybe we should get... Hmm... Yeah, we could get a market, I suppose. Ah, oh, there's the civilization upgrade available, the military one. And maybe we should get... Yeah, let's come, on, come on then. Let's just go and get some of those. And this monk can place that in there. Now, where are the other relics? I have a feeling that the AI has probably stolen most of them, as, as you can see. I mean, we can't really see too many on the map at the moment. And usually we would be able to, so... That is... Ah, there's one over here. There is actually one over here. So that's very, very close by. And we are under attack again, but that's okay. Not uh, not a big deal. Hopefully in 22 seconds we should be able to get the unique... ...spawn of the archers. And then we can hopefully upgrade those as well as time goes on. Light cavalry only, really? Is that it? Mm. Ah, there we go. Now we can get the next level of damage upgrade. And we can also get these guys. Yes, these are the ones that I was talking about. Short range but high rate of fire. Effective against spearmen. So we're going to try and get a bunch of these as well. Going to try and get, like, a bunch. Like, a lot. And then we're going to 
just get ready because obviously this is this is the faction that really kind of benefits my playstyle because I, I generally tend to just go for a very big defensive economy based playstyle and personally I find that that is just I, I don't know that just works the best for me so let's see if I can get another farm or two going on there and maybe we can get the new economic war uh, well yes that's a problem we need to get another one of these around here just so we can get this stone and that has been upgraded that's pretty fantastic so we can also upgrade specific units by the way to certain things so for example I could upgrade chosen crossbowmen to elite crossbowmen which are stronger more effective and have more range and it also upgrades the already produced chosen crossbowmen so that's pretty fantastic I need more food I need more food pretty badly I'm actually kind of surprised that my farms are taking so long to kind of produce that but maybe what we need to do is divert some of our workers away from the gold I guess yeah away from the gold let's take four of those and actually try and hunt some deer or something like that because we don't really need all of the all of the people on the gold at the moment we have a lot of gold so it's not really necessary should we get some of this no we can't get some of that I would like to upgrade these guys though. Let's actually just continue producing them though, obviously. And now that we have some more of these, we can actually, there we go. That's actually starting to improve our speed of production. So obviously farms, they're obviously not the greatest when it comes to you know, food production, but they are going to give you that constant supply. So your units don't really have to walk too far. All right, so can we finally upgrade these? Yes, we can, let's do it. It's going to take a bit of time because obviously they are producing quite a lot. I really should have built another one of these. I should probably build another archery range, but there is a siege workshop and I wouldn't mind showing you some of the siege engines. So let's let's just build that. Uh, let's just build that over there, I guess. And what else do we want to do here? Well, I, we do want to get some more stone, don't we? So I should probably go and send this one over here to the stone. And let's just bind these to a key. Uh, who, who is that? Is that just a villager just standing there? What are you doing? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's get another one of the little little towns. What what are they? The Fangwoos. Yes, we need those. And there's the siege engines. So, yeah, now, the thing with the Chinese is that you can get these siege engineers for 100 gold, and you can get grenadiers, which are effective against ranged units. We might actually want to get a couple of these grenadiers. Let's get five of those, because these siege engineers, they can construct minefields and all kinds of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to get two of those, just so that we can completely cover the battlefield in all kinds of wonderful things in terms of <laughs> minefields, of course. Now, I'm actually wondering where the remaining relics are. I assume our opponent has taken most of them, which is not very good because he can get, what is it now, plus five to all units by having many, many relics. So that is kind of worrying at the moment. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure where... There's one. Oh, okay. So where's my... Where's the monk? Oh, dear. Where Where is the monk? I mean, it should be... It should be around here, no? Where is it? Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'm going to have to build more, more houses. So we should probably just continually do that. I don't know where the monk is. That is absolutely awful. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> Apparently... Oh, is that him? That's him. Oh, there we go. He actually he actually picked that up. Okay, that's weird. I thought to myself, oh, he's not going to be able to pick that up in a very short space of time, but apparently he did it already. Did I tell him to do that, or did he just do that automatically? Oh, that's pretty crazy. All right, so what's that? What are these guys? Oh, these are the Grenadiers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, let's just get those to run over there and I should probably build a another uh, should we just build the market let's just build the market just in case you never know and how much do we actually need of this we need 650 wood 
Hmm. We obviously don't have enough villagers on wood at the moment. Hmm. Maybe we should get a couple more of these. Alright, so we've started the stables research to upgrade our cavalry to heavy cavalry, to chosen heavy cavalry. And they're going to be very, very powerful. Obviously, we're a little bit slow on that, but that's not really going to make too much difference because the enemy does not seem to be interested in attacking us. So I can only assume that they are claiming most of the resources on the map but I don't know whether I really worry about that too much don't know whether to really worry about it because we kind of have pretty significant I would say a pretty significant advantage at the moment in terms of at least research so I mean I'm just going to continue to get armor and we should probably get some mounted damage and mounted armor as well it's going to take a bit of time oh yeah I also built this and I also have a merchant now as well I actually have no idea where to go with this guy I literally don't. So we should probably just get some more stone or something like that. Maybe we should build another one of these things to get some more gold here. Because our gold reserves are kind of low at the moment. So we should probably do something about that. There. Ah, there's another relic. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that. We can buy and sell. So if we want to, we can buy wood. Let's buy some wood. There we go. We're buying a load of wood. And then we can sell some food for some more gold. We can actually sell some more stone as well. And that should be that should be pretty good. Alright. Let's continue to build our town up as well. I think I have maximum research in terms of our civilization level right now. So that should be fine. But where is our monk? There he is. Uh, I didn't. T what? I didn't tell these guys to go over there. I thought I did. Are they stuck there? No, they're not. Okay, let's just tell them to go over there then. Where's my monk? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna tell him to go and get that relic because obviously I didn't see that until now. There's actually. Is there another one over there? No, there isn't. And once he goes and gets that, we should have a pretty decent bonus, and then we should be able to attack. I mean, it seems like the AI hasn't really done too much, which I suppose is to be expected. I mean, they haven't... Oh, there's another one. Oh, fantastic. All right, so he can come over here, take that back to the temple. Mm, we should probably build a couple more of these, and we should probably get some more of those. Oh, there's, they're still building them. Well, that's, that's pretty good. All right. And where is my monk? There he is. Delivers goods and brings back gold depending on the distance between the markets. Well, I have no idea where markets would be on this map. I mean, maybe it has to be a bigger map. I would assume it has to be a bigger map for that to happen. Oh my! Okay, they have a lot of heavy cavalry. I mean, that would be expected, wouldn't it? That would literally be expected of the Mongols. They, they you know, they, they did favor cavalry quite heavily. But you can see here that I, f I feel like our archers are probably going to cut them down pretty easily, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? We might have a bit of a problem there. And I did see another relic over in this direction, didn't I? Hmm, where was that? Ah, there it is. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done with our army at the moment. I mean, yeah, you can get a much bigger army, but I think we should be fine with this. I mean, where's our engineers, by the way? I wanted to show you that, didn't I? Okay, so you can build rams and flamethrowers. Basically, this turns the engineer into a flamethrower, but they can build a ram, so that's pretty cool. And then obviously you have the minefields here as well, so I'm just going to build a minefield right there. And there's also a fire pit. Ranged units nearby deal bonus damage against buildings. Yeah, because they can obviously light their arrows and so on and so forth. So let's just build a bunch of these. And it's pretty fast as well. They seem to be able to build them really, really fast. As you can see here, there's the mines in the ground there. And uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I mean, look at, look at our economy right now. It's going crazy. And we're going to need to have a couple of people build some more 
house and things like that. There we go. All right, so that's that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so I think we should probably attack very soon with two rams. So let's go and build one of those. Where's the other engineer? There it is. Our heavy cavalry do seem to be doing a lot of damage, so that's good at least. And where's my blacksmith? There it is. Let's just get another couple of pieces of research right there. And where's my... Did my monk die? Oh, apparently my monk died. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too good. So that means they're obviously going after that particular relic, I would assume. Oh, well. Not, not to be worried about too much. Okay, so let's do this. Let us move forward and make our presence known. And let's just kill that guy. There we go. Okay, so we obviously do have grenadiers as well, so they're going to be pretty... Whoa, yeah, we're going to be pretty effective right here. Don't think we should have anything to worry about as such, but who knows? It seems like we should be fine. I think we should be okay. All right, so now they do have obviously a bunch of stances here, you know, aggression and all kinds of things. And then they have formations as well, so if you want to, you can do that. I think we can literally just station our guys right outside and just have them absolutely murder everything in sight. Well, that seems to be going well. Yes. Seems to be going very well. I mean, these guys right here, they are fantastic. I've always used these, even in Civilization and games like that. Those guys are just really pretty fantastic at what they do. They're always really good, unless, obviously, they get outpaced. They do sometimes get outpaced, dependent on if the enemy civilizations are pretty good at, you know, actually getting to the next levels of technology and stuff like that, but we should be absolutely fine here. Let's just use our... Is this their... Is this their main base? Yeah, that is their town center, so I can just tell these two rams to get over there, because obviously these archers are not going to do a very good job at killing it, and do you see how much damage the rams are doing? Massive amounts of damage. Is that their only one? I think they have another one, actually, don't they? I actually don't know. But we do have a bunch of these, a bunch of these minefields going on, so that should be fine. All right, so let's just get all of our workers actually doing something, because they have now ceased picking food. And we can get a couple more of those, and then we can just continue to murder everyone in our path. And I, I'm actually kind of surprised that they have not... Hmm, that's a bit strange. They have not actually started the countdown, so I assume that they have some more buildings, or another building, maybe another town center or something. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, that was a bit weird. I actually don't know what was going on with that, but apparently I finished it up. And so if you'd like to check this game out, the link is in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.